Right, hi guys, Andy Work back. A another day. Um, now, since uh, the temperature has fallen below the melting point of lead, I'm going to be working in the shed a lot more and I've got everything laid out. Now, what I'm working on at the moment is the magazine catch, I'm uh, sorry, the buttstock catch. So, what I've got, I've got two of these tiny little buttons from Nerf that lock your barrel extensions in place. Now they go in either side of this, one there and one there, like so. Right. Might need a stronger spring, so I've got that one just in case. So that goes in there like that. So what I'm going to do, this brass bit goes in here. And the reason I'm putting that in, I'm going to fill that with epoxy putty and have a lump out here. Then push the whole thing in there and mount it and get the lump to conform to that shape which I then pull out, reshape so it'll fit, and then the lump itself might work, or I might need to put a screw in the top of the lump to match the, uh, the holes on the, on the buttstock, right? Now, the brass pipe is so that the, the putty doesn't go in and get in mucked up in the spring. Now, I'm going to have to mix up a fairly large lump of this stuff. So I couldn't film that camera died halfway through. Anyway, so there is my fair approximation of a mess. Rough shape of what I've got in there. So when that's dry, there'll be uh, lots of sanding and cleaning up. So that's that step done. Now I can move on to something else. And the something else is this. This is a strengthening plate that goes on the back here. This recess goes in the original hole for the trigger guard. And I've got four holes and they will in, drill into these thicker parts of plastic. I'm going to glue that down with uh, epoxy resin and also put in the screws. That's carbon fibre. I'll get on with that. So first thing I've got to do is put the holes in there. And the usual way I'm go doing that with, with, with a heated drill bit, just heating it up, going in reverse just to create like a countersink. Then I'll put form a little counter sink screws in. Prepared my back plate. Um, oh, another little trick, once you've melted your holes and your counter sinks, get yourself a number 18 blade, wet this, cool it down, and it just, any burr just cuts right off, even off, off uh, this uh, fiberglass. Car sorry, carbon fiber. There you go. So that's ready to go. That's ready to go. Done the matching holes. So all I've got to do now is mix it up and slap it on. That's exactly what you want it to do, go all creamy. Lots in the hole, doesn't go through, and then lots on the surface. And I'm not going too near the edge because as this um, screws down, it'll force glue out everywhere and I'll have a huge mess, which I'm probably going to have anyway. Okay, there we go. Okay, that hole is not deep enough. I know heating all these drills is not good for them and going to be damaging them, but they're, they're just an Aldi pack, so it cost me about 10 bucks for oh, 30 drills and a pin vise. So I'm not worried. Here we go. Straight in. Straight in. Straight in. And I've already done the bottom corner one. That was my reference. Yep, there we go. want to over tighten it good so that's that two more and that bits done then we can work on uh, the real challenge is going to be putting the um, pistol grip in with the trigger guard at the same time and fitting it to that hole I think what I've done that hole is fluted uh, sorry flange like a funnel and the end of the pistol grip the trigger guard that goes in there is also matched so It'll basic, basically be a surface-to-surface -surface contact, no sort of hole and plug. And uh, it'll just rely on the stiffness of the trigger guard and the um, pistol grip holding it. So pistol grip goes there and 
Did I have the trigger going over here with it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, that seems to have... So what I'm going to have to do... Oh, yeah, so that virtually just kisses in there like that. It's the only way I could do it. All right. So I've got to glue that in there. Yep, okay. Back soon. Now, I'm just putting the uh, uh, pistol grip in. And I've melted a hole through, right there, through there, bit of a dog's breakfast, but not going to be seen. But what I've done, I've got one of these uh, anchor bolts. This has normally got a sleeve and a nut on the end. Got rid of that. Cut a slot in the end. Put it through. Popped it out this side and heated up the end. Pushed it back in quickly to make a, um, a form-fitting, uh, uh, what do you call it? Countersink for it. So I'm just cleaning. I've wet this down. That's why it's covered with water. I'm just cleaning off the melted burr. And then pushing this back through. It's a bit bloody hot. So, as you can see, it goes all the way in. Well, not all the way in, but, and I've just got a little bit over here, I've just got to snip off later. And that, that'll go in there. Now, what I'm going to do, same thing I've done for the um, the recess for the uh, stock catch. It's a bit loose, so two bits of plastic going to glue either side, and I'll go, go through them later. That'll tighten it up, and I have to uh, put the trigger guard in at the same time and glue it all in one go. So, I will get on with that. Time to glue the pistol grip in. So I've got pistol grip, got my um, trigger guard, Got two little shims that go either side of the pistol grip because it's a bit loose in there, marked which side they go on and everything. And got everything drilled and my pin with the hole it fits in. Just dry fit everything continually so you know when you've got glue all over the place, you're not going to have a problem. So back on with the two by two hands of blue. My wife has an aversion to me dying from chemical poisoning, so I do this for her and for me. Okie dokie. Now, while I do this, I'll just update you on... I was talking to... Uh, Jared from Nerf No BS, I think it is. Um, he's just launched the Relum, which you'll see a picture of here. And uh, he's uh, this is this is announcement basically for everybody in Australia. He's working on getting an Australian distributor. Um, It'll probably cost about 250 when it gets in here. Well, that's 250 American, so we're probably looking at 350 Australian. Yes, um, the Relum, yeah, the spring-powered sniper, 3D printed, very nice looking thing. Or maybe not even 3D printed, I can't quite remember now. Um, he said he didn't mind make me saying anything because he's done an announcement a day or two ago. So, uh, yeah, he's just looking for an Australian distributor. I don't know how much, like, apparently he's had quite some uh, effort getting a uh, Canadian distributor which he seems to have just sorted or was just about to sort so good for him so what I'm going to do is a simple expedient of putting a drill through it I had this prepared And I just drilled into my hand. That'll do for the moment. I've got to do this while the glue's soft because it's only five minutes, isn't it? Yes. Oh, it seems to be going through. There we go. Now, I'm going to have to stop here. Oh, I wonder if I could put that in. God. Oh, good. That just, that's just a pressure fit. That's good. Good. I'll leave that there because that'll hold everything in place and I might glue that later. I've got to go and uh, I 
Okay, I'm just uh, back. Um, bandage done, painkillers, great. Uh, so, you can see where we've got to there. So we've got our pistol grip in. I've got a little bit of that shim showing, but I can just trim that off. I'll cut off the um, arrow light when it comes out when it's dry. But I'm really happy that's just a pressure fit, because I can take that out any time. And that, that's carbon fibre as well, so that's nice and strong. Oh, also, one other thing. I've printed the, uh, the glass on my uh, Photon Mono. Um, what I'm planning to do with that's got to be trimmed slightly to fit in on the ridge that's in there and then uh, before I do put it in glue it in give it a polish with some really fine wet and dry same at that end that one I've even molded some markings in which I'll fill it in with paint which hopefully you'll be able to see so I've got to go inside now talk to you later right hi guys Andy we're back now um, for obvious reasons I can't do much um, but I've got a bit done today so let me get up, uh, get you updated. Okay, first, uh, yesterday I 3D resin printed the back of the uh, round counter with a little recess number, and I've just put some white paint in there. And when that's dry, I'll put some red in there and scrape off the waste, mask it off, and then the whole thing will be painted with when the gun's painted. So that's done. Uh, I've done also with the resin printer. I've done the lenses for the scope. They just fit in there like that. That one's got some recesses inside it, which I've filled with white paint. And what I'm hoping to do is use uh, several different grades of um, wet and dry and sand them down and polish them until they go clear. Whether they go clear or not, I don't know. It's resin, it's not acrylic, so um, we'll see what happens. So, they're done. And, let's see, what did I get done here? Oh yes, I glued on this little pipe that carries the cables across the gun and also did the screws and I'm going to fill that with uh, those holes and put a bit of Tammany putty along that because it's a bit rough and glued on little ends that I printed as well because this thing's far too fragile to have holes in it to stick things in so you had to do them separately and glue them on separately so that's done and amazings of amazings I've got the butt sorted despite oh let me see if uh, yeah, it's amazing how often you use the palm of your hand, isn't it? Um, hang on, let me turn this over. Even holding things like, oh, I don't know, Nerf guns. Yeah. Well, I was going to say amazing. I've got it done, but no. The screw in there needs to come up a bit to intercept with these holes. But I'm really loath to take it out because this, just this one bit with one hand took me two hours just to get sorted. Um... The spring in there that I had, which was perfect tension, which held this in line with this, is gone. I don't know where it's gone. It just disappeared. It, I don't recall it flying off anywhere. It just um, was not where I left it the previous evening. Uh, I also, I believe, I left the uh, windows open last night in the shed, so very much a possum couldn't have got in and uh, caused havoc. There was no other damage. Um... Yes, I sanded this uh, putty, which was remarkably easy. Easy, it's nice and smooth. But of course, where I haven't sanded is you can still feel the ridges. So am I going to have to sand the whole thing? Ha! <laughs> no. Um, I'm going to try that auto spray filler. See if that works. I've still got to do this area up here, but I can't really do putting with. You, you get the idea. Um, uh, the pistol grip. I'm quite happy with that. That is just a friction fit, but it's really tight because that's glued in. So and. You can handle it easy, trigger pulls, you've got your butt stock, which is not locking in place, unfortunately. So what I've got to do is get in there and raise that 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 little uh, screw in there. So that's all it is, that's all it does. But as you can see, as it goes up and down, it seems to come back to a different spot every time. So I'm just wondering if my U-Butte clever spring-loaded axle is a really good idea and I should just put a bolt through there. But anyway... That's all I'm going to do today because I'm a bit sore. Uh, yeah. Um, if you saw Get Off My Lawn today, this morning, it's Thursday here in Australia, so I get it the day after you guys, or the day before you give it to me, the day before you do it. I don't know. Time zones. God. Um, I announced I'm going to be doing another ch playlist on my channel. I'm not doing another Nerf channel. I'm just doing another extra playlist. It'll be Nerf related, but when I get it sorted, I will... Um, make the appropriate announcement in the appropriate place okay been a few days since i've been out here been sidetracked with other things now what i'm doing now 
is I've just smeared some um, 10 mini putty on this broken bolt and just used my number 18 blade to smooth it down and on this side I'm just going to use a finger to smooth it down and push it into all the grooves and when that's all nice and dry I'll give it a sand and see which side works the best because I'm seriously considering doing the whole blaster with this just to get rid of those layer lines yes I know madness but um, I used up my last time uh, ten minute putty. I did a tiny little skerrick left, so I'm I'm skerrickless now of ten minute putty. But we'll let that dry and see what happens. So next, moving on, is getting this right. Now I've got it working to an extent, but the screw in there, apart from anything else, it's one of these really fancy um, those star heads with the dot in the centre, which is a pain in the ass because I only have one bit can, that can uh, get that out. And it's right there. So I'm just going to try and find a screw with a proper head and make it a lot easier. And hopefully angle it a bit forward this way so you don't have to pull it apart to adjust it. Which would probably be a good idea. There's plenty of room in there you might be able to see. Yeah, so um, I'll get that done and get back to you in just a minute.